This is the section of our course where we try to share with you the most important and helpful strategies for attacking a section of the ACT, in this case the reading test, all in just five minutes. You ready? Let's start with the most important aspect of ACT reading. It's freaking fast. The passages run about 3,000 words, and when you add in the questions plus all the answer choices, that almost doubles it to about 6,000 words. That's the equivalent of reading a 20-page essay. Oh, and you only have 35 minutes to do it. Oh, and you have to answer 40 questions, too. The crazy thing is that it can be done if you do it the right way. So how do you work that quickly? The most important thing you can do is work smart. Read for main idea. Know where the details reside in the passage, but don't try to memorize them as you go. When you know that an answer choice is right, pick it and don't read the other ones. Does that sound crazy? Maybe, but it's actually a useful response to the design of the test. The best thing about ACT reading is that the questions themselves are not that difficult. That said, they're impossible if you don't get to them. So let's make speed our number one priority out of the gate. The types of passages, prose fiction, social science, humanities, and natural science in that order, can help guide you to the most efficient reading strategy possible. Prose fiction passages are structured in a way that makes them very different from a social science passage. I mean, think about reading a page in The Great Gatsby versus a page in your history book. The seemingly small stuff in a fiction passage can be surprisingly important. A character shrugs, another character trails off mid-thought. Those subtle moments can be where the money's at in a fiction passage. You're not going to see that level of subtlety in a social science passage. When you start reading a paragraph on social science, where do you expect the topic of that paragraph to be? Oh yeah, in the first sentence. Social science passages are going to be highly structured and perfectly organized, with one main idea usually mentioned in the first paragraph, the last paragraph, or both. Social science passages will be highly structured with perfect organization, with one main idea usually mentioned in the first paragraph, the last paragraph, or both, that's developed and supported in each of the body paragraphs. Now why is that useful? If you think about structure as you're reading, you can really speed yourself up. Because the little stuff matters in fiction, you want to read all the way through those passages somewhat carefully. But suppose you're on a social science or a natural science passage, and you read a sentence that you know is the topic sentence. Do you need to read the rest of that paragraph with precision and care? Not necessarily. If you understand the topic sentence, great. If you need the details later, you'll know where to find them. That's one way to use the structure of the passages to your advantage, in particular, to speed you up. You'll always see a set of paired passages on the ACT. That's two passages on the same theme. These could show up within any of the topics on the reading test. Um, two pieces of good news. The paired passages tend to be pretty interesting, and the strategy for attacking them is simple. The questions are grouped by passage, with headings that let you know which questions belong to which passage. So, the strategy is, read passage A first, now answer all the questions that pertain to passage A. Read passage B, answer the rest of the questions. What's great about this is that you only have to consider one passage at a time when you're answering the majority of the questions. Next up, the question types and what they have in common. ACT reading questions range in focus from specific details all the way up to main idea. Regardless of the scope of the question, though, right answers always have to derive from the passage in a clear and provable way. The right answers can't be a matter of opinion. They've got to be either right or wrong. So use that to your advantage. You'll know you got a question right when you can prove that it's right using evidence from the passage. What this means is that you essentially want to turn the reading test into a finding test. Now, if you can't find the evidence to prove an answer, keep looking. If it's taking you more than a minute to find it, skip that question and come back to it once you've answered the rest of them. Just always have proof, specific proof from the text, to justify that an answer is right. Last thing, how could that second strategy, finding evidence to justify all of your answers, possibly pair up with the first strategy, which is to work as quickly as possible. The answer to that question is actually the sweet spot of ACT reading, finding the balance between working quickly and working accurately. Sometimes you'll remember the answer to a question and you won't have to look back for it. That's great. Pick that answer so you can save yourself time to answer the rest of the questions. The right pace on ACT reading is a little faster than we'd like it to be, but the test is designed to be finished in time. Practice until you find that sweet spot between speed and accuracy, and you'll be ready to knock it out of the park.